Yo, what is up everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be going through all of the new items that you can get for your characters in Title Update 2.1. There are a couple of new weapons. There is a lot of in-game customization options that you can buy from Maria's shop with the in-game currency, as well as there are a few new bundles in the in-game store. But real quick, before we jump into that, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those posts notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. So moving along to the new customization options that you're going to be able to put on your character. So you will be able to get more from the resistance live event that goes live tomorrow, but we're going to be going through these. All of these are free. All you have to do is go into Maria's shop and buy these with in-game credits. You don't have to spend real money on them. So the first one being the cover team Wendy Xfil helmet. I think this is the one that's new. Obviously, I think I've seen that before, but I'm not 100% sure. This might not be the new one, but it is still a badass looking helmet. I'm trying to see if there's any more in here. That's the only new helmet. When it comes to the vests, we have Hills vest, as you can see here. It does look pretty badass for a vest. Definitely one of the cooler ones in the game. We have the light carrier harness, which has a pistol in it, but I'm pretty sure that that's not the pistol that you use. So it's just there for looks. You don't actually pull your sidearm out of that holster. It's literally just for looks, which that is so annoying. That is so frustrating. It's such a good concept. It's just not executed very well. We also have the light plate carrier, which I'm not going to lie, looks pretty cool. Um, it goes with the outfit quite well. It has the mags and stuff in the front. As long as they don't glitch out and change to other things, we will be fine. We also have the low profile chest rig, which is pretty straightforward. It's a low profile chest rig. It's very low profile. Looks pretty clean. Not going to be one that I use very often though. It's just my personal preference. I would rather rock no vest with the way the vests work in the game currently. And then last but not least, we have the Martin plate carrier, which yeah, looks pretty cool. It's, it looks very busy. There's a lot of stuff going on with the straps and stuff like that. Still a cool looking vest. Moving on to the gloves. So we have the hard padded gloves, which pretty straightforward. Nice looking gloves. Definitely one of the better looking gloves in the game. We have the heavy duty gloves, which they are one color there's not really a lot of detail to them so take it as you will and then we have the high density gloves if i can get this menu out of the way you can see it there also pretty one color i would definitely say that the hard padded gloves um, of this set look pretty cool moving over to the pants we have the baggy pants which pretty straightforward they're baggy pants you can customize these with different colors and stuff like that it has the big pouch right there on the side not sure what that's all about it looks a little clunky but it is a new pair of pants that you can rock in the game we also have the forest tactical pants which these look very similar to like the splinter cell that's very tight to the person that's wearing them it also has like that little armor thing down at the bottom of the left leg not sure what that's about but this is another new pants in the game we also have hills pants which these things are extremely busy you got multiple mag pouches and stuff like that for your pistol magazines you can also see that there is the holster on my left which is the character's right and then you also see the holster that's on the left side of the character not sure which one we're going to be using i'm pretty sure the one on the left side of the screen is the one that our pistol defaults to the one on the right is just there for looks i'm pretty sure you don't use that but it is a cool new pair of pants that we can wear we also have the bermuda shorts which these are very interesting i'm not exactly sure why you'd be rocking these as a special ops soldier but it is a new pair of pants that you can wear obviously being shorts kind of unique we also have these strap shorts which kind of looks like something that a wolf would wear because it kind of has the straps hanging off the one leg new pair of shorts and i believe that's it uh, i think we also have the utility work pants i think these are new as well Pretty straightforward, not a whole lot going on there. Now let's move on to the new shoes. So we have the large collar sneakers, which these things, I don't even know what to say about these. These look, these look, I don't know. I, I have nothing to say about these. These are just ugly. Um, we also have the reinforced boots. Pretty straightforward. These look very similar to some of the other boots in the game. We have the self-fastening ankle boots, which kind of look a little bit futuristic. It looks like something you'd see out of like the Back to the Future 2 or something like that. And then we also have the utility boots, which once again, pretty straightforward. You're not really going to be staring at your feet that much, but this is another customization option for you. Moving on to the backpacks, we only have one. We have Hill's backpack, which is very similar to like the Camelback. I think it was this one here. It's kind of similar. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller. If you're into small backpacks, obviously in Breakpoint, you can completely deactivate your backpack, but this is a new backpack that you can wear. Moving over to the tops, we have the large rainstorm coat. 
Uh, pretty straightforward, looks kind of baggy, not a lot of detail to it, but uh, it is a new coat that you can wear. We also have the sleeveless jacket and t-shirt, which depending on, let me see what the color options allow you to do. Yeah, see, it, it, it doesn't really accent very well. If you could have like a black jacket with like something else underneath camel wise, the, the colors are too similar and it just looks like one item. Not really sure exactly how that would work. Um, but we also have the sports jacket, pretty straightforward. This is something that I might actually put on one of my AI teammates and make it blue because it kind of does look like Weaver's jacket that he wore in Ghost Recon Wildlands. We also have the waterproof top, which looks very similar to the Rainstorm coat. Overall, it looks kind of like a baggy poncho, definitely something that I'm not going to be wearing. And we also have the zip sweater. Now, this one does look kind of clean, depending on what colors and stuff we can put on it. I'm curious as this... See, that one accents just a little bit better maybe with the different stuff, but it's pretty generic. I wish we could do the separate colors there and change which one we have on top and on bottom. Um, I think that's all for the jackets. For now, for the face mask, we have the Ninja Half Mask, which the only one that I normally rock, um, I think whatever one I'm wearing here, yeah, the Stealth Belaclava because it kind of covers your neck. We also have the Shemog, which is very similar to Scarf B. I think it just has like a texture to it. I'm wondering, yeah, it's basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. This one actually looked pretty cool. I was going to rock this one for a little bit um, because it does actually cover the neck. Um, it does have a unique look to it, but I don't think you can wear glasses or anything with it, which kind of sucks. Um, but we do have access to the Ninja Half Mask and the Shemog. We also have, uh, I bought the United States patch. We also have 38 other country patches that you can get. Um, I put a list in those in my patch notes video the other day. If you go to Maria's shop, they're all in there um, and you can buy those for your specific countries. Here is actually a look at those new patches. So kind of like I think from the Algeria flag all the way down through here um, through the United Kingdom flag. These are all new flags for your specific countries. It is kind of nice. I know a lot of people were asking about having patches and stuff um, as something that we could put on our character. Also, when it comes to new weapon attachments, I am actually out of money, but we do have the, I think I see the V16 sight, which is a multiple zoom value scope. So you guys a one times and a six times, and you can kind of adjust that on the fly. We also have the hundred round magazine for the ASRs. Uh, it does have a decreased reload speed and vertical recoil, but overall hundred rounds, you can pack a lot of bullets down range. We also have the 338 control shield, the 556 control shield, and the 762 control shield. These all pretty much are compensators in some way, shape, or form. They just kind of go on different caliber rifles. And then we have the SLX5 sight, which is just a, I would, I would compare this to the digital scope. It is very similar to the digital scope. And uh, overall, it didn't really need to be in the game, but obviously we do have access to a new sight. Also, we do have a few new vehicles, and I thought this was going to be tied to the Resistance Live event, but if you have enough money, you can buy these right now. So we have the Overseer Mark II Outcast as kind of a unique paint job on it. We have the Resistance car from the Outcast. This one looks really, really cool. This one kind of looks like an old four-door muscle car. has a giant minigun on top. That honestly is really badass. That's probably going to be the next thing that I buy. We have the Ecstatic Armored Outcast car. It doesn't have a big machine gun on top, but it's definitely heavily armored. You can see that, and uh, you can haul up to four people in it. And then we have the Blacklist Mark II. Um, for those of you guys that played the Deep State DLC, once you got done with it, you got the Blacklist regular helicopter. This one is the Mark II. I'm not sure what specifics it has on it. It looks like it has some guns and stuff on it, maybe. That'll definitely be interesting because that is definitely one of the cooler looking helicopters in the game. And last but not least, we have the Echelon SMG. So you can pick this up over at Maria's shop for, I believe, 15,000 credits. Um, the one thing I did notice, though, is you cannot customize it. It comes with a red dot sight uh, suppressor. It has a 30 round magazine and uh, you cannot customize it, but it is a pretty good submachine gun. I'm not going to lie. I have been enjoying using it. I haven't really upgraded it yet. I'm going to dump some of the points and stuff into here later. There are other items that you're going to be able to get doing the resistance live event. Um, and I will probably be covering those in a separate video, but there's a few more gear pieces. You get the missile launcher thing that you can kind of target an area and the outcast will call in a missile on that location as well as there is a Paladin 9 sniper rifle in there as well. I will probably be talking about all of that in a separate video. Now, moving over to the store, these are things that you're going to have to spend real money on. This is not free. This is not skill credits, but there are a few new packs in here. We have the custom SMG, which is the Echelon SMG. Not going to lie, I am not digging that paint job, and that's just it's 600 ghost coins for that paint job. 
Definitely something that I'm not going to be picking up. We have the Blacklist Mark II bundle. So this comes with the Blacklist Mark II. So yeah, it does have some rockets on it and a machine gun on the front. We have Desert. We have Hill, which doesn't look that different from Desert. Um, obviously, Jungle and Snow. Pretty straightforward. It's 950 Ghost Coins if you want to pick that up. We also have the Modern Ninja bundle. So this one comes with some really wonky looking shoes. You have the spandex shirt. You have the um, heat gear tactical balaclava, which I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that one because you can actually put um, sunglasses or a, an eye patch or something like that with the mask itself. That one I might be picking up just the 200 ghost coins. I might have to pick that up. And then we have the high tech infiltration pants, which not going to lie. Those look those do look pretty cool as well. Now moving over to the urban hero bundle. So we have the airtight pack, which this thing is massive. That is definitely not something that I'm going to be rocking in the game. Um, it just would really make your silhouette really, really big. Obviously, that really doesn't affect the gameplay. It's just going to be ugly to stare at. You have the Kevlar ballistic helmet, which not going to lie. That looks like Ant-Man. You know, you can be Ant-Man and Ghost Recon Breakpoint pretty straightforward. We have the Urban Hero Jacket, which looks very similar to the Rider Jacket from Wildlands. Um, but now we have to pay real money for it. We also have the Blackhawk Terrain Mid Boots, which look like regular hiking sneakers. Um, nothing too special there. And then we have the First Spear Operator Outer Gloves, which those look very similar to the Echelon Gloves from Ghost Recon Wildlands. So... Maybe some rehash stuff here, but this is stuff that you don't necessarily have to get. It's all up to you if you want to buy that with your hard-earned money. So that is pretty much going to do it for the video on all of the new items in Title Update 2.1. You also have the AI teammates that you can fully customize now and have those guys on your squad as you go out in the open world. The Resistance Live event will also start tomorrow, which has a little bit of a battle reward system in there as you progress through the missions. I believe you can unlock 14 new items through that. And with that being said, moving forward, I hope we do hear some information about the Episode 3 DLC that was originally supposed to release in June. Obviously, with the things going on in the world and stuff like that, everything kind of got pushed back. But hopefully here in the next few weeks, we will get some information and possibly a release date on Episode 3. If there is any information surrounding that, make sure to stay tuned for the channel for that. But that is all for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, you are excited about hopping in and checking out some of the new items in Title Update 2.1. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content with Ghost Recon Breakpoint moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.